Let's take a look at the coding application for iPad called Tinker, which is available for free through the App Store. Once you open Tinker, it'll load for a second, and then you can get rid of any pop-up messages that may appear, like this one. You want to tap into the Workshop, which is the bottom center button. Students will need to create their own unique projects from scratch, so basically a brand new project that isn't a project starter or something that already is made by somebody else. So while these other project starters are a great way to learn how to use the app, and you can actually get a lot of good ideas here, when you're ready to create your own Teams project, you'll need to tap New Project at the top of the screen. Each new project starts with a blank grid and one character. You can add as many characters as you want, you can code each of your characters, and then you can change your background to anything that you'd like. You can even add your own pictures and draw things if you want to. So let's go ahead and add a new character. I'm going to tap the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, and I'm going to choose a different actor to add so I have more than just one. Let's go with Adventure. All of these are scrollable, so you can find any kind of characters that you'd like. There are also objects in here. So let's go with a dinosaur. Now we've got a dinosaur here, and you can pinch and zoom and rotate to move and resize the characters any way you'd like. And you'll notice that each time you tap a character, some buttons appear around them. Let me show you what those do. If you tap the button that looks like this, that is how you add code to that specific character. If you tap the pencil icon, that is how you can change the way that the character looks. You can also add new sounds to the characters here. You can tap the plus next to the add costume to add different animations in the way that they look more so on uh, that specific character. And the trash can is how you get rid of a character. There, I just deleted that one character. Let's add one more. And let's go with the monkey. Bigfoot, rather. Okay, so we have Bigfoot and a T-Rex. And now what we want to do is change the background. You'll notice at the top of the screen in Tinker there are two buttons. There's a code icon and a scene icon. The code is how you change the code for your background or your objects or characters. The scene icon is how you see what everything looks like. In this code workspace, you'll see your everything that's in your project will appear on this slider. You have your dinosaur, Bigfoot, and your background. Each time you tap one, that is how you add their code to their code space. So if I wanted the dinosaur to talk, I need to add on start. So when I hit the start button, now I'm going to tell the dinosaur what to do. So on start, the dinosaur is going to say hello for two seconds. And you can even change what is being said. You can add your own words if you'd like, or you can just use what they use. For two, if you wanted them to say that for one second or 500 seconds, you can do whatever you'd like there. Let's just keep it at two. And now I'm going to go to Bigfoot and make him say something back to the T-Rex. And maybe he doesn't talk, he just makes sounds. So let's go to play a sound for Bigfoot. And let's go to add sound. And let's go with... What kind of noise does Bigfoot make? How about a roar? Okay, so now Bigfoot is going to roar and T-Rex is going to say hello. Let's go ahead and watch that. I'm going to go back to my scene and hit the play button. Okay, so we heard Bigfoot roar and the T-Rex said hello. Not too much going on here and the grid is kind of weird looking, so let's go ahead and find something that's a little more appropriate for them. I'm going to hit the code button at the top. I'll tap the button on the left here to go to stage and tap the circle to choose properties for stage. The plus button next to add background. Let's find a background that's a little more suitable for Bigfoot and a dinosaur. There are a lot to choose from and each time you get to one you can probably scroll through to find even more. Alright, let's say that these guys are going to be here with the volcanoes. I'll tap X to get out of here and let's go back to the scene. This looks a little bit better. And now if I hit play, my code would run. And what I could do next 
is add more code to each character. Maybe I'm going to want to make them move or dance or jump or sing or talk even more. It's up to me and up to you when you make your own projects. What you would want to do next then is add more characters, more scenes, and create maybe a game. Maybe it's just a story that people watch or you get creative and create something brand new. It's completely up to you. When you're done, you hit the back button at the top left. Give your project a name. Call it something that you'll remember. My, let's call this um, T-Rex and Bigfoot. Done. And I'll tap Save. That way my project is saved, and that way I can open it up again when I'm ready to work on it again, or if I'm ready to show it at the code contest. Okay, that's Tinker. Hopefully you enjoy it and find something to create.